Hey there fellas, do you happen to randomly have the urge to drink cooking and become master chef of the apocalypse, but have no idea how to achieve such a feat? Well, consider yourself lucky, because today I'll be teaching the basics of cooking. Before we start preparing and training, let's first begin by showing you what benefits this skill has to offer before we even start training it, shall we? So basically, cooking allows you to create far more nutritious and hunger eradicating meals out of smaller portions of ingredients that you'll use to make those meals, making it far more resource efficient if that'll be the right word for it, of course. And as you level up this skill, the meals you will be making will be far, far more nutritious, higher your cooking level is, making it even more resource efficient, though I cannot promise this said resource efficiency being present when you only got like level 2 cooking or something like that. That whole thing will come into play later down the line when you got, you know, higher cooking levels. Now, another nice little thing you can do is that once you cook a lot and finally reach the milestone of level 7 cooking, you will now be able to detect poison and be able to use small portions of rotten ingredients in your meals. Although those rotten ingredients will not have as much nutrition as their fresh counterparts. So do be wary of that. Well, that's all the benefits I could think of. Now, let's prepare ourselves by giving local bookstores or school libraries a visit to nab ourselves some cooking skill books to boost our XP gains from training this skill. After that, we shall nab any ingredients like wedges, meats, dried foods, those you will find in almost any kitchen or a convenience store, and also kitchen utensils like cooking pots, frying pans, roasting pans, bowls, and kitchen knives. Now, there's many more kitchen utensils than what I just mentioned, but since this is a guide to the basics, I won't tire you out by teaching you everything there is to cooking, as I want to keep things simple for beginners, okay? Now, after you gather up all those random assessments of the ingredients and utensils, we shall get to cooking. Let's, you know, first make a basic soup of some sorts. First thing you're gonna do here is fill up your cooking pot with some water, then start adding ingredients by right-clicking on that cooking pot in your inventory. Every time you add an ingredient to a meal, you gain small amounts of XP. Also, do not add the same type of ingredients more than two times to a meal, as that will upset your character more you do this. So add some variety to your meal, okay? After you basically fill up your cooking pot with variety of ingredients to the point that you can't add any more, feel free to chuck it into an oven of any sort, be it a regular stove powered by electricity, an antique oven, or a campfire, and wait for it to slowly cook. Also, just be wary and pay close attention to it while it's cooking, since, you know, it'll be a shame if all this hard work, you know, burnt. And it's done. That's how you make yourself a basic little pot of soup. Feel free to share it with your buddy with bowls if you're playing co-op. Or, you know, just down the entire pot yourself. I ain't stopping ya. With that out of the way now, this is all you really need to know, because here's the thing. Most of the meals that don't involve baking will have you go through the same basic process you would have went through with making a pot of soup, right-clicking utensils in your inventory and adding ingredients and chucking them into an oven and cooking. Unless, of course, you're making a salad or something. Though, here's a thing I forgot to mention, and that, that there will be big differences in what ingredients are able to be used in each type of a meal. Like, for example, sure, you can use fruits, vegetables, berries, and mushrooms in a salad but you won't be able to use uncooked meat or any dried food in the said salad. For another example, I will use a stir fry and here you can use basically anything as long as it isn't some sort of a dried food or canned fruits like peaches and pineapples for example. You get the idea. Anyway, with this out of the way, that's for the video today. My apologies if it feels rather rushed and not as informative as any other guides I could have made in the past. Well, as informative as it could be anyway. Regarding info I've given not being in depth and whatnot, again, this is a guide to the basics, and I want to make somewhat basic introduction to some skills and give general idea on how things work for a skill I'll be discussing in a guide. With this whole guide mumbo jumbo out of the way though, if you still did find this video somewhat helpful, I would be very thankful if you liked this video and subscribe to my channel, and leave feedback in the comments to help me improve my future content. Anyway fellas, I'm afraid it is time for me to say goodbye. I wish you all a great day.